Hi everyone and welcome back to English Lessons Within Lingua. I'm Tash and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about comparative and superlative adjectives. So the first thing we need to do is remember what an adjective is. Anyone? It's a word we use to describe something. We give a description using adjectives. So, here I've drawn a lovely picture of one of my students, Leo. You can see here, Leo is tall. I'm using the adjective tall in blue to describe Leo. But only Leo. What happens if we put him next to Minsu, one of my other students? Let's see, both of them. Okay, I am short. Minsu is tall and Leo is tall. But if I want to give information about the two of them together, I have to use a comparative adjective. We use comparative adjectives to compare two things, only two. So let's have a look at my sentence. Leo is tall. Here I have Minsu is tall. But now I want to compare Minsu's height with Leo's height. You can see that Minsu is taller than Leo. We have two things we need to add to the sentence. I'm going to write them in now, so keep your eye open. Minsu is taller, ER, than Leo. Extra word than is always used in a comparative. It is how we know that we are comparing two things. And we can swap the adjective if we want. It works the same way. So, now I'm going to use Leo as the subject of my sentence. So we swap the adjective, not tall anymore, but short. Leo is short. Minsu. What do we need to add? The same thing. ER and THAN. So there's a gap there. Open that up. Leo is shorter than Minsu. And you can use any adjective to use a comparative when we are talking about two things and we compare them. Okay. But sometimes we don't want to compare only two things. We want to compare three or four or millions. Any number we can use the superlative adjective. This is like being the winner of a category. You are number one. Nothing else is in competition with you. So if I want to use a superlative adjective in this sentence, I have to pick my winner. Minsu wins at being tall. Leo wins at being short in this situation. And then we have to do something slightly different. Let's look at my sentence down here. Minsu is tall. And we're still going to add two things in. We're going to add EST to the end of the adjective. And we need a word here. Do you know what it is? The. The winner, Minsu is the tallest. I want to remember these ER and EST endings. They're very important for when we look at a longer adjective. A longer adjective, tall, short, beautiful. When we have an adjective with many syllables, beautiful, three syllables, then we have to do something slightly different. Because in English, we don't like our words to be too long if we can avoid it. So instead of saying beautifuler or the beautifulest, which don't sound good to us, we have to make a little change. Let's have a look at my next example. Here is Angelina Jolie. I'm sure you recognized her. I'm a very talented artist. Now I'm going to talk about Angelina Jolie's appearance using the adjective beautiful. Angelina Jolie, Angelina Jolie is beautiful. We all know that. She's famous for it. But what if I want to compare for example, myself with Angelina Jolie. Myself, Angelina Jolie. Just two things, so we'll use a comparative adjective. And in this case, beautiful, our adjective is already really long. So we are going to use a different technique. 
I'm going to add an extra word. Can you guess what it is? More! I am more beautiful than Angelina Jolie. So, than Leo, than Mintsu, than Angelina Jolie. This word always connects to the second object in your sentence. The second person, the second item. What about if I want to use a superlative? I am the winner. I am number one. I don't want to compare myself to Angelina Jolie. I want to compare myself to everyone in the world, probably. So I'm going to use a superlative adjective to show that I am the winner. I am the most beautiful. The most beautiful. Again, we need the for a superlative and we need the st for superlative. I like to remember that. S for superlative. ST or EST for a superlative adjective. And with more, you can see the RE, which is the opposite of way round, but it still helps to remember. So, that is how we use comparative and superlative adjectives when we are describing things. Two things, comparative. Three things, superlative. Four things, superlative. Everything in the world, superlative. Only use comparative for two items. So, why don't you leave some comments below with examples. Try some comparative and some superlative adjectives using the information I have given you. And please subscribe to our channel for more English lessons. Nice to see you again. Bye.